What's up guys, in this video I'll show you how to create realistic lens flares without any plugins. So you'll only need After Effects and let's get straight into the video. The first thing you're gonna do is add a new composition. Tutorial. Alright, then you're going to click on this icon here, it's the shape tool. And then you're going to the ellipse tool. Alright, then you'll just make a shape like this. And then you can choose a color, so for example this brighter yellow. Okay, so then the next thing is to pre-compose it. So right click and then pre-compose. Let's call it center glow. And make sure these two options are enabled. Okay, press OK. And then you're going to click on your layer and then add an effect called uh, camera lens blur. Then you can make it, for example, 30. And then the reason why we pre-compose it first is because if we add this onto our normal layer, it will look like a rectangle and that's not good. So add it on here. Okay, so now you have a beautiful blur. Then the next thing is to add another shape layer, something like this. You can hold shift to make a perfect circle. So we'll need that. Something like this. So what we'll do is go down to this arrow and then click here on add. And then you can add a wiggle paths. So you add that and then it will show up here and then you go down to the arrow again. And then here you can play with the size, so you can make it really big. And then for some inspiration, you could uh, make things like this with it. But we're going to make it a little less, something like this. And then we're going to increase the detail, not too much, about 25 maybe. All right, and then I'm also going to change this value here, the correlation, um, to 40. And this basically means that the spikes will change in size more randomly. So if you make it correlate 100%, then they will basically all do the same thing because they're all correlated. So we'll put it to 40, then close this. And then the exact same thing, you just pre-compose it. Uh, let's call this uh, light rays, for example. These two settings, click OK, and then we're going to add a camera lens blur again. And this time something like 12, for example. The reason why we put it at 12 and not 30 is because we still want to see these uh, spikes coming out, but we don't want to make it too sharp because otherwise it will look bad. So that's why we put it at 12. Then what you uh, want to do is try to line them up. So we'll go into this composition and then move it more like here. Okay, it needs to go a little more down. A little bit more. Something like this, okay. Perfect. Uh, now you'll see it also moves. So if you don't want that, uh, that the spikes kind of move, you can just go to your light rays composition, go down here, contents, wiggle paths, and now you can just disable wiggles slash seconds. So you can put it to zero or you can put it to 0.1 and that will make it move very slightly. And I kind of like that. Uh, you can also choose a random seed, by the way. And this will basically change the randomization. Then you go back to your uh, main comp. And here we're going to move the center glow to the top and put the blending mode to add. Then what we're going to do is add a new effect on this layer. The effect is called glow, but you could also add deep glow, uni glow, um, sapphire glow. Then you're going to put the threshold to something like five. The color channels make it alpha channel and then make the glow radius a little bit bigger. So something like this, around 300, and then also increase the glow intensity. So something like this. All right, then you can also change the color. Just go down to here and then color A will make it a brighter orange. All right, already looks pretty good. And then the next thing is to select them both. Right click and then pre-compose, and this is your lens flare. All right, then you want to get a clip, so we'll just get some random clip. Um, Maybe this one, and then we'll cut it down a little. So you have your clip, and now you're going to put it below the lens flare. And it could look like this, or it's like completely black, and then with the lens flare. But you just need to put the blending mode to um, add. Or you can also put it to screen, which I like personally. So this is basically how it looked originally. And then you can also put it to um, linear dodge, which is basically almost the same as add. So we'll put it to screen. Let's just cut it down so it fits our clip. Okay, then the next thing is to track it. So we're going to track our lens flare to a part where it's very bright. For example, this uh, sky here. So let's just track it to somewhere around here. Uh, how you're going to do that is to 
select this tool. It's the pan behind anchor point tool, I guess. So then just grab this and then put it on the center of your lens flare. So somewhere around here. Then the next thing is to just go back to your normal tool and then press on your clip here, press P, and now you're going to click on this icon to animate it. So now we made a keyframe. So what we can do is uh, slide this thing to the spot we want it to be somewhere around here and then what you can also do to make it easier is just press s on your keyboard to open up the scale and then just put this to like five for example or just zero to temporarily not show it then you're going to press p again to see your keyframes and then you can go keyframe by keyframe to track it which uh, i like personally you could add a, a 3d camera tracker but i find that it's not working really well so um, especially on anime clips. So that's why I do it manually. All right, so you're gonna go keyframe by keyframe and you can also press page down or page up on your keyboard. If you have those two keys on your keyboard, page down is to go one frame forward and page up is to go one frame backwards. So let's go one frame forward and then we can grab this little dot here and just move it to the spot we want it to be again. Then page down again and then move it a little. And now you can do this for every uh, frame. So we'll just do this really fast. All right, we did all the keyframes, so it should be tracked. Now don't forget to press S again and then make your scale a hundred like that. Now your lens flares back and then it should be tracked. Uh, mine's not that um, precise, but if you spend your time on tracking it, it will definitely look better, but it looks all right. The next thing to make it way more realistic is to add a flicker to this lens flare. Uh, just add an effect called brightness and contrast. Go to the beginning of your composition. All right, and then we're going to add a um, expression and don't be scared. I know this is a beginner tutorial, but expressions are not that hard and we're only gonna add one line of code. So it's fine, I'll guide you through it. So you're gonna go down to this arrow and then to effects and then brightness and contrast. And then normally, if you would add a keyframe, for example, next to this brightness, you would just click it. But for now, we're going to hold Alt, and then we're going to click it. And then you will see this number here will turn red and you'll get some code. And we're just going to put one line of code here, so it's very easy. Uh, you just remove the code that's already in here, and then you're going to write wiggle. Make sure you have two Gs, and you can also press tab to fill it in then you're going to have two brackets and you're going to put two values in here the first value is how fast your flicker goes so for example uh, 15 uh, i find that 15 is a pretty good value and then the next value is how big the range is between the different brightnesses so for example if you put this to like one and you will see it barely changes like sometimes it goes to minus one or one uh, but that's really it and you won't really see it so that's why you want to put this a little higher. For example, 10. All right, you still can't see it. So even higher, 100. And now you can see it flicker. And you can also see the speed now. So it goes quite fast already, but if you put it to like 90, it goes even faster. So yeah, we're going to put this to 15. And now we're also going to make the second value uh, like 40, because we don't want it to flicker that much. Otherwise it won't look realistic at all. So that looks good. Then there's one more thing to add your lens flare and it's an overall glow. Now this lens flare doesn't really have any impact uh, on the entire scene. It's just, it's basically like a PNG image. So we want to change that. Uh, what you're gonna do is add a glow again or a glow of your choice. You're going to make this value really small. You, you can actually put it to zero. And then the glow radius, you're just gonna make really big. Then alpha channel, of course, I forgot that. so. Make sure you have that enabled and then just play around with it. Something like this, around 800. And then the glow intensity you can also change. Now we're going to add a color again. So go down to color A and then just make it something like orange. And now your lens flare really has an impact on your scene. So it looks completely different. Without lens flare, it looks kind of bland and dry. And with it, it looks way better and it will definitely improve your AMVs. All right, that's it. That's the lens flare effect. Hopefully you've learned a lot. And if you did, make sure to subscribe and go down to the first link in the description if you need any more help with After Effects. All right, see you. Bye bye.